A chamber in the palace overlooks the courtyard. The season is midsummer. The windows of the palace are open, and from the distance there comes the sound of a man's voice crying for bread. The king sits in a golden chair, a golden crown is on his head, and he holds in his hand a scepter which is also of gold. A servant stands by his side, fanning him with an enormous fan of peacock's feathers. Some bread, please. Bread, 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 please. Give us some bread. Get out of here. You don't have any business. Give us some bread, please. No, get out of here before we kill you. We are starving. Give us some bread. Then bind him and gag him, if necessary, if need to be cut out his tongue. I do not like the sound of the fellow's voice. It annoys me very much. O oh, king, thy, thy orders were obeyed even yesterday. No, that cannot be. A beggar cannot cry for bread who has no tongue. Behold, he can, if he grows up. The punishment for Jesus' death, see it. See to it that the fellow is, is slain. And Be do not find me so languidly. I am very warm. Behold, O great and illustrious king, all thy commands were obeyed since yesterday. How? Do not jest with thy king. If I jest, then there is truth in the jest. Even yesterday, O king, as I have told thee, the beggar with which thou now hearest the crying lovers, in the streets was slain by the, by the swords of the servants. The ghost, it read, forsooth, men would have been slain with a sword. Do, do not go about in the streets crying for a piece of bread. Forsooth, they do if they are fashioned as, they, as this beggar. Why? He is, but a man surely cannot have more than one life in a lifetime. Listen to our tale, O King. I am listening. Thy soldiers would smooth this beggar for crying out loud, aloud in the streets for bread. But his wounds have already healed. But they cut up their his tongue. But he immediately grew alive. They slew him, yet he is now alive. Ah, that is a tale which I cannot understand at all. O oh, king, it may be wrong. I cannot understand what you say, sayest either. Okay, that may be well The beggar's voice suddenly cries out loudly. Bread, 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 please give us some bread, please. We are starving, please give us some bread, please. Please give us some bread. Ah, he's crying out again. His voice seems to me louder than he was before. Hunger is food to the lungs, my His lungs, I will wager, are well fed. <laughs> but alas, his tongue is quite empty. That is not my business. Should I not perhaps fling him across from the window? No. To feed a beggar is always foolish. Every crumb that is given to a beggar is an evil seed from which springs another fellow like him. Bread, 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 please give us some bread, please. He seems please. very handy. Okay. Yes, so I should judge. If thou wilt not let me fling him a piece of bread, thine ears must pay the price of thy land. A king can have no debt. <laughs> that is true, O king. Even so, the noise of these fellows begging must be annoying. It does. 
dullness. He bears only a small trust from thy table, and he will be content. Here, thou plus he craves only to be a king, and he would be very happy indeed. Do not be so hard, O king. Thou art ever wise and just. This fellow is exceedingly hungry. Dost thou not command me to bring him just one small crust from the window? My commands I have already given thee. See that the beggar is driven away. But alas, O king, if he is driven away, he will return again, having as he came before. Then see to it that he is a slave. I cannot be annoyed with the sound of his voice. But alas, O great and illustrious king, if he is indeed a slave, he will come to live again, even as he did before. Ah, that is true. But this voice troubles me. I do not like to hear it. His lungs are fl flattened with hunger. Of a truth, they are quite strong. Well, propose a remedy to weaken them. A remedy? Therefore, some other remedy must be found. O king, the, wit and the words of thy illustrious mouth are as very meatballs of wisdom. Now let me consider. Thou sayest he does not suffer pain. Therefore, he cannot be tortured. And he will not die. Therefore, it is useless to kill him. Now let me consider. I must think of some other way. Perhaps a small cross of bread, Ha! I have it, I have it. I, myself, will order here to stop. Okay. Send the beggar here. Okay. Ha! Huh. I rather fancy the fellow will stop his noise. Will the king's command him to? Ha! 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 O king, thou will not have a beggar brought into thy chamber. Yeah. Go inside and tell this fellow that the king desires his presence. O great and illustrious king, thou will surely not do this thing. Thou will surely not soil thy royal eyes by looking on such a filthy picture. Thou will not surely contaminate thy lips by speaking to a common beggar who cries for bread in the streets. My ears have been soiled too much already. Therefore, go now and do as I have commanded thee. O great and illustrious king, thou wilt sure. I said go! Forsooth, I fancy the fellow will stop his bowing when I order him to. The king has desired your presence. First move. I fancy he will be pretty well frightened when he hears that a king desires his presence. <laughs> oh. Okay. Here's the beggar. Ha! Huh. A magnificent sight. To be sure, I know the beggar has been crying aloud in the streets. For them. I know the king. I am the king. It is not proper to ask questions to a king. To do likewise. I have ordered. Tea here to speak to the tea. Concerning a very grave matter. Thou art the beggar I understand who often cries aloud in the streets for bread. Now, the complaint of thy voice annoys me greatly. Therefore, do not beg anymore. I do not understand you. I said, do not beg anymore. I, I do not understand. The king has commanded that thee not to beg for bread in the streets anymore. The noise of thee voice is as garbage in thy Ears. <sighs> An excellent flower speech. Bring it in thy buttonhole. Thy ears I see. In need of both, even more than a body. I said, do not beg any more. I, I do not understand. Do not beg any more. I, I do not understand. Heavens, he is deeper than a stone wall. O king, he cannot be there, for he understood me 
quite easy when I spoke to him in the street. Are they deaf? Can they hear what I'm saying to T now? Alas, I can hear every word perfectly. The impudence, the tongue shall be cut out for this. Okay, to cut out his tongue is useless, for he will grow another. No matter, it shall be cut out anyway. I have ordered T not to beg anymore in the streets. What means though by saying thou does not understand? The words of thy mouth I can hear perfectly, but their noise is only foolish. Tinkling in my ears. Only a, a lash will tinkle thy high for thee. If thou dost not cure thy tongue of impudence, he not to beg any more in the street for bread. Signify, therefore, that thou will obey the orders of the king by quickly touching thy forehead thrice to the floor. That is impossible. Come, it is not safe to attend the patients of the king to know. This patient is truly great, but he loves his most wondrous good. Come now. I have ordered thee to touch their forehead to the floor. Thy quick therefore, should I should I touch my forehead to the floor? In order to seal their promise to thy king. But I made no promise. Neither have I anything. Ho! Oh, he has made no promise. Neither has he any king. Ha, ha, ha. I have commanded thee not to beg no more. For the sound of thy voice, of thy voice is grievous unto my ears. Touch thy forehead down to the floor. As I have commanded thee, and though shall I go from this palace a free man, refuse, and though who be sorry before an hour, that thy father even came within twenty paces of thy month. I have ever lamented that he did. For to be born into this world, a beggar is a more, more, unha more unhappy thing that, than any that I know, unless. unless it is to be a boy, a king. The tongue of a tree is still lively for thy help. Come now, touch the forehead thrice to the floor and promise solemnly that thou wilt never beg in the street again. And hurry! It is wise to do as thy king commands thee. His patience is near an end. Do not be afraid to soil the floor with thy forehead. I will graciously forgive thee for that. I said it is not wise to keep the king away. Well, well, well. Okay, the one commanded me not to beg in the street for bread, for the noise of, of my voice of my, of me. Now, therefore, do I likewise command this turmoil? Command this thing. The beggar from the street see it, they crown from their forehead and throw it from yonder window into the street. For when the last throw they crown into the street, then I will command this key. And keep to remove my crown from my forehead and throw it from yonder window. This is, this is what I said. Why? Dost thou not know? I can have teeth laid for such swords. No. Thou can, thou can not have me laid. The spirit of thy soldier has sword against my body. Ha! We shall see if they are. We shall see. O oh, King, it is indeed true. It is even as bread, 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 please give us some bread, please give us some bread. Who is that? Another annoying voice. O oh, King, it is a beggar. 
I have required to remove the power from the force. If you so be through from the others of the windows of the tree, my voice will cease to annoy the tree any more but those to refuse. Then thou wilt wish to have kids. Never had the crown to all for day days will be filled with a terrible bonding and day night will be full of horror even as a ship is full of rats. Why? This is insolence! This is treason! Will this crown not burn the crown away from the other window? Why? This is high treason! I asked the tree will do. The crown will thunder in the window. Perhaps it is equally wise to humor him, O King. After thou hast tried throwing thy crown away, I can go outside and bring it to thee again. Well, well, well! I will not throw my crown from the window. No. Nor from any other window. What? Shall I obey the orders of a beggar? Never. Surely, is that spoken like a king to me? That to art a king that to prepare those who use the name she deserved That God who is visited upon is well to art a king called to her otherwise. Stop him! Seize him! Does it take to get off easily with his impudence? Go! One of, them, one of the five servants cannot stop me, and neither can the thousands of them do me any harm. I'm stronger than a mountain. I'm stronger than a sea. Ha! We will see about that. We will see about that! Hold him, I say. Call the guards. He shall be put in, jail, in chains. My strength is greater than a mountain, and my birds are more fearful than a hurricane. This servant of time shall not even touch me with the full breath of a mountain hand below over this whole play palace. Thus, to hear impudence, he is offering me. Why does thou can you not seize him? What is the matter with thee? Why does thou not call the guards? I will not harm those now. I will only cry aloud in the trees for a bread wherewith to fill my belly. But one, I will not be also pied to the other that they mount will be filled with a rush wind, and my arms will become as strong as a steel, a rod, and I will blow over this play palace and all my bones and foolish body I will snap between my fingers will beat upon the large drum and the head with my drumsticks I will not do this thing now and but one day I will do them therefore when my voice sounds again his ears begin for bread and remember what I have told remember king and be afraid after him, after him, he must not be allowed to escape. After him! Okay, I cannot seem to move. Quick then, call the guards. He must be caught up in chains. Quick, I say, call the guards! Apologies, okay. I cannot seem to call them. How? I know. Dumb. <laughs> bread, bread, bread! Give us some bread! Give us some bread! Bread, bread, bread! Give us some bread! Bread, bread, bread! bread. Give us some bread! Ah. Ah. How? Am I afraid of a beggar? Bread, bread, bread! Give us some bread! Close that window!
What's up, mga beggar? Tapos na kami. Sana magustuhan nyo. Ang mga introduction namin. <laughs>